Hi dear friends, welcome to our channel AKY Biotech. So today here again we are with a new video for you. So today also we will be discussing many of the questions and uh, I hope that uh, you are getting great benefit from all these questions from all these videos and uh, you have done with your uh, DBT JRF exam and hope it was uh, helpful uh, through your examination. So let's uh, start with the video. So in the previous video, we have uh, put a question for you. It likes uh, it was like this. Which one of the following is not a feature of agrobacterium with E protein? So uh, you have the four options over here. And the correct option is the D part. So this is not a feature of this one that it is not a component of T pilus. So this is by where B2 this uh, T pilus so many people have answered it correctly uh, this question uh, we have got uh, uh, many uh, correct answers and uh, it is good and I appreciate and uh, because uh, they have taken effort to solve the questions and you, you are taking equal interest and that is uh, a good thing because then only uh, from our side uh, we are also motivated to make more videos for you and uh, uh, the names are as follows uh, Pooja Khatare S I don't know the full name it's by the name of the S only uh, Bushra Anjum Padublog Nelore Rajshri Jyoti Singh Asha Dabas and uh, Meera Mishra Ankita Srivastav all these uh, people they have answered this question uh, correctly and uh, that's a great thing next so today we will discussing uh, the following questions 451 number the prosthetic group present in a acyl carrier protein acp so what is the process prosthetic group that is present in this this is uh, correct option is one and uh, this is the coenzyme A. 452. During glycolysis, fructose 1,6 diphosphate, it undergoes, what does it undergoes to produce two C3 fragments? So, the answer is it undergoes retroaldol reaction. So, this reaction, it goes this way. Uh, here you can see the retroaldol reaction. So this is fructose 1,6 bisphosphate and uh, fructose 1,6 bisphosphate aldolase. This is the enzyme which is involved to take place this reaction so that to produce two C3 fragments. So the two C3 fragments which are produced they are the like this that is dihydroxyacetone phosphate and the other one is the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. These are the three carbon compounds. Next, 453. The core functional unit present in NADH is, it's like this, it's the dihydropyridine. This one is the correct option. Next, 454. In meiosis, an inversion in one member of a pair of homologous chromosomes. So, in meiosis, inversion is taking place in one member of a pair of homologous chromosomes will most likely lead to which of the following? So, you have correct options. Uh, you have the options over here. You have to pick up the correct one. So, non-destruction of the affected chromosome. No. Chromosome with duplications and deficiencies. This one is the correct one. So, in meiosis, if an inversion in one member of the homologous chromosomes, so this will lead to the chromosome with duplications and deficiencies. Next, 455 number. Asymmetry of the DNA denaturation renaturation curve. This is, it is directly proportional to the genomic complexity. This question is also very important. It has been put down in the examination many of the times. Then 56 number. P is a cis acting element while Q is a trans acting element. Possible examples of P and Q are 
you have to give an example of the cis acting element and the trans acting element so uh, what is this cis acting element that is the enhancers and the transcription factor that is the trans acting element next question that is if a fluorescent dye is injected into the lumen of er that is endoplasmic reticulum in which of the following compartments can fluorescent signal be observed so uh, which of the compartments will fluoresces if a fluorescent dye is injected into this er the correct answer is er golgi and nuclear envelope this one is the correct option number 458 which of the following statements about sodium potassium atp as is correct so which one is the correct statement about this it is responsible for generating the resting membrane potential no it transports sodium ion and potassium ions down the respective gradients no it is responsible for generating an electron potential again no it indirectly this one is the correct option it indirectly regulates the volume of the cell next question number 59 protein glycosylation can take place only on the following amino acids so protein glycosylation it can take place only on these amino acids that is asparagine serine and the threonine number 460 which one of the following organelles disappears during cell division and is regenerated in the daughter cells so which organelles they disappear during cell division and in the daughter cells that is regenerated the correct answer is golgi the amino acid that can act both as an acid and a base is an enzyme catalyzed reaction is so the amino acid which acts as base as well as an acid that is the correct option is histidine next question 462 number which one of the following reactions it does not occur in fatty acid synthesis so during the fatty acid synthesis what does not take place so timely i am repeating in all my videos please first read the question carefully so which reaction does not take place that is the phosphorylation this does not take place in fatty acid synthesis so res 3 they occur that is reduction dehydration and decarboxylation going to the next question that is the 463 number a dna with the sequence that is 5 prime to 3 prime end we have the sequence that is the 5 prime end uh, c g c a t c uh, it follows uh, till the 3 prime end needs to be pcr amplified so uh, we have to design the reverse primer will be the which of the following sequence you have the four options over here so here comes uh, this is the explanation suppose uh, that you have the two strands of the dna uh, that is the plus strand and the minus strand and uh, this is uh, a, if we have to design uh, for this 5 uh, prime to 3 prime end so this is also uh, uh, the 5 prime to 3 prime end sequence so if we have to design the reverse primer for this strand so it will start with this end that is the 5 prime to 3 prime end so the complementary base pairs will be synthesized like for a the t then for a t and for t the a and the forward primer it will be again 5 prime to 3 prime end for t it will be a and a it will be t and for c the complementary base pair will be g so in this case also we will be synthesizing the reverse primer uh, from this end that is the 5 prime to 3 prime end it will follow like this so for g it will be for c it will be g then again for c g g c the complementary base pairs will be like this then t a i hope you are getting the correct option uh, from below 
then uh, for A it will be T and uh, G then C and A T and for T it will be A. So, you can uh, find here the correct option that is this one number 1 this one is the correct one 5 prime to 3 prime uh, this is G G C A T C T A this one is the correct option number 1 number 464 which one of the following amino acid biosynthesis pathways is affected in folic acid deficiency so which pathways it is affected in folic acid deficiency that is glycine from glucose and allylene number 465 Hot start PCR is performed to, this is performed to expedite the PCR reaction, no, prevent mutations, prevent primer dimer form formations. So, hot start PCR, it is performed to minimize non-specific amplification. This one is the correct option. So, dear friends, again today we have a question for you. Kindly try to solve it out. And in the next video, again, we will be discussing this question. Here it is, tag DNA polymerase. So, it differs from the Klinov fragment in having, here comes the four option that is 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase activity, 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity or the 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity and the last is the endonuclease activity. So, you have been given the four options. Kindly pick up the correct option and please do comment in the comment box and we will be discussing this question in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, I would like to say that please subscribe the channel time and again I am saying this because you will be getting all the latest uh, updates uh, of the questions which we are uploading for your examination uh, as all the competitive examinations they are fast approaching uh, so please like and share the video.